SeaCare COVID Channel Area Response Exchange is an Interreg France Channel England project which is delivering a 6.7 million euro package of COVID-19 recovery support to businesses and individuals at risk of exclusion on both sides of the channel. This multi-strand project is helping the seven partner organizations to review good practice from and build on lessons learned to shape and implement response and recovery actions to help alleviate the impact of the pandemic. SeaCare includes support for individuals such as skills training, apprenticeships and digital inclusion. There is help for businesses via advice, vouchers and grants to help sectors hard hit by the pandemic to develop new business models to respond to market changes and ensure a green, inclusive and sustainable economic recovery. Seacare is also developing blueprints for the future use of town centres to improve long-term prospects for businesses and work on new ways to tackle social exclusion. The following films showcase some of the ways in which Seacare has made a difference. Hi, I'm Dan, Supporter Relations Manager here at Plymouth Argyle. Welcome to the club. So we want to make it clear to everyone that we're a club for our city and that's where the Plymouth Charter has been absolutely invaluable. I'm Ed Hart, I work for Real Ideas. We're delighted to have been supporting the Plymouth Charter activity by delivering some business support, looking at inclusive recruitment and employment practice all as part of the sea care work. Dan Pippin at Plymouth Argyle reached out to us towards the start of our work on the Plymouth Charter, looking for some quick, tangible, practical ways he could make a piece of recruitment that he wanted to mobilise really speak to the widest possible group of people. What we were looking to do was to recruit a pool of talented and enthusiastic volunteers, somewhere in the region of 20 to 25 in total. Their role is as here to help ambassadors on a match day. It's also Armed Forces Day at Argyle, so there's lots of Armed Forces personnel outside. On top of that, we were looking to see how we could make things more inclusive generally. I took a really good look over their web presence. I took a really good look at what they had done in the past with recruitment. We talked about presenting the values of the club at an early stage in the recruitment process more of an emphasis on skills and attitude rather than on experience and qualifications. The attributes, the characteristics and the potential skills that can be developed by recruits rather than the traditional way of recruiting to skills and experience. One of the ways of thinking about how you can make a recruitment process more inclusive is to actually turn a traditional process on its head. By that I mean you actually try and see or speak to people right at the start. Lots of people are put off by forms. Lots of people might not be ready to undertake a written application form at the very start of a process. This has started a wider conversation here at Plymouth Argyle in terms of our attitudes and our recruitment processes. We now have a fully resourced equality, diversity and inclusion manager at the club. Argyle are doing a fantastic job here of committing to the principles of the Plymouth Charter about supporting Plymouth to be a fairer, greener city. We were really able to have a much more successful recruitment process. It's much more open and inclusive and yielded a much greater, bigger and more diverse pool of candidates and applicants, which ultimately meant that we were able to recruit the team that we wanted. So working with Ed and Real Ideas through the Plymouth Charter has been invaluable in helping us to affect that positive change.